these books, you guys. Literally. You're just you're just so bad. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Try and run away. Go and hide on your little stand. Okay. Amazon parrots can be wonderful pets, but they are also a lot of work. And in this video, we're going to be going over everything that you need to know before you adopt or buy your Amazon parrot. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel if you are new and welcome back if you are a subscriber. I am so happy you decided to join me for this video and we have a special guest today. You're my special guest. Come on, special guest. So this is Echo. She's my double yellow headed Amazon parrot and she hatched on um, April 20th, 2006 and we purchased her in July um, 2006 and she has been with me ever since. So everything that I will mention in this video has either been through my experience of owning Echo or, or through my research or through speaking with my avian vet. So let's get started. Stop trying to go place special guest. So this care guide pretty much encompasses all the Amazon parrots, um, which include double yellow headed Amazon parrots, yellow crowned Amazon parrots, yellow naped Amazon parrots, blue fronted Amazon parrots, um, orange winged Amazon parrots, etc, etc, etc. So if you clicked on this video, you are probably considering on purchasing an Amazon parrot. Now the first thing that I want you guys to do before we actually like go into Amazon parrot care and what you will need for your new friend, um, the first thing that I want you guys to do is get out a piece of paper and a pen and go ahead and write down your expectations of what a of what owning an Amazon parrot um, would be like and also your expectations of that parrot. Now, after you've written down your expectations of what living with an Amazon parrot will be like and what um, that Amazon parrot will be like themselves, then you're gonna go ahead and want to write down the commitment that you can give to that Amazon parrot. Thank you. Which includes physical commitment, emotional, and financial. So after you've written everything down, I will go ahead and spill the tea. So the first thing that you should know about Amazon parrots is that they can live very long lives. Um, most of them can live up to 50, 60 years. So you really do want to keep that in mind if you are an older person and you are adopting or purchasing a young Amazon parrot because more than likely they will outlive you, so you just have to keep that in mind. And you also wanna have a plan for when you do end up passing away, who will get your Amazon parrot, and you just wanna make sure that you um, have a plan set forth for who will then take care of your Amazon parrot or what will happen to them when you do pass away. So another thing to consider before adopting an Amazon parrot is that they are very, 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 very loud. Um, their screams can be heard from inside the house, from outside the house, from a few houses down your house. Like they are very, very, very loud and they will scream pretty much daily. So you just have to keep that in mind. So if you do live um, in like an apartment or a condo or a townhome or any, or just even if it's a single family home that you have very noise sensitive neighbors, you really, really, really do want to reassess um, that situation and I promise you that you will end up going through a lot of difficulties and a lot of trouble um, if you do have noise sensitive neighbors and if you do share a wall with someone else because they will hear your bird and they will complain. <laughs> so another thing to consider is that they are very very messy um, and when they eat their food flies everywhere um, and their feathers go everywhere. You will find like poop all around their cage. Um, so it is, they do make a very, very, very big mess. Another thing that you also have to keep in mind is that they can be a very, very expensive. Um, just overall maintenance um, yearly of an Amazon pair, it can run into the thousands. Um, and also you can't forget about unexpected vet visits, which, all, which also can go into the hundreds and into the thousands. So you really, really want to assess your financial, financial situation before you okay. um, think about adopting an Amazon parrot. So another thing about Amazon parrots is that they are very, 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 very demanding. They will want your attention all the time. They do get jealous if they see someone else hogging all your attention. Like it's a real, like it's real. The way that I can describe their um, demanding attention is I just think of the most annoying toddler you've ever met in your life 
and then go ahead and like times that by 10 and then go ahead and think about if that toddler like never ever grew up and then lived with you for like 50 years that is an amazon parrot so amazon parrots are extremely 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 smart um, and their intelligence is compared to a small primate so they are very 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 smart and they definitely go through a the whole range of emotions they feel happy they feel sad they feel upset they can feel jealous they can feel like angry all those emotions they definitely definitely um go through them and you will know when your bird is angry you will know <laughs> When they are jealous, you will know when they are happy. Um, so that is also another thing that you should know. Have I got you rethinking about adopting an Amazon parrot yet? So if I haven't yet, that is amazing. Um, let me mention one more thing to you. So Amazon parrots unfortunately do have a reputation of being aggressive. Um, and this aggression comes out um, or starts to come out when they have reached sexual maturity. And this aggression will continue throughout the rest of their life. Um, and I have dealt with it firsthand with her. And I will definitely share that story with you guys later on in the video when I do talk about their um, like sexual um, health and sexual reproduction and just overall that period of their life. Um, but you do have to keep in mind that they will get aggressive. You will get bit sometimes you will get bit multiple times a day um and they will test your patience and um if you have like little kids in the home or if you have um, you know, older family members or you know you know your situation the best but just keep that in mind that they do get aggressive when they reach sexual maturity and that aggression does not go away so you really have to make sure that you um, keep that in mind before adopting an Amazon parrot. And unfortunately, it's, it's a very common thing where people get a cute little baby um, and then they have no problems with that baby until they hit sexual maturity and then that baby turns into a little monster um, and they have no idea what to do and they end up giving up that you know their bird because they don't know what to do and all of a sudden their sweet little baby has turned into like an aggressive crazy monster um so you really really do have to keep that in mind it's going to be uh, a lot of commitment um coming from your end a lot of patience and um tough skin because you will get bit <laughs> you will get bit a lot so just keep that in mind. So now I want you to go ahead and get a piece of paper and a pen and write down how many hours a day you can commit to your Amazon parrot one on one. So go ahead and write that number down. Now me personally, um, I believe that Amazon parrots should get no less than four hours outside of their cage every single day. I recommend five to six hours. Um, however, four hours in my opinion is the bare minimum. Some people suggest even more than that, but do not, do not um, go below four hours. So that number that you have on that piece of paper, if that is less than four hours, then an Amazon pair is not right for you. And I recommend that you look into other species of birds. So the reason why I say this is that because Amazon parrots are extremely social animals. And if you look at them in the wild, you will never ever find um, a solitary Amazon parrot. You will always find them in flocks. Um, so it is very, very important that you are making sure that you give your Amazon parrot attention every single day. Um, my opinion, no less than four hours. So before we move on to cage requirements, um, I just want to mention real quick that I really do advocate for a, a adopting first. Um, there are a lot of Amazon parrots that do get surrendered um, because their owners just don't know what they got into or if they had to move or just life circumstances that um, unfortunately their owners end up having to give them away. But I really do recommend that you go to your local shelter or your local animal rescue and really find out if they have Amazon parrots there. Um, and more than likely, you will definitely find some um, around where you live or go on Craigslist um, or seeing if anyone is um, giving up their Amazon parrots. So I definitely recommend adoption first. If you can't go the adoption route or you don't find an Amazon pair that fits um, you know, well with you, then I would recommend going to a hobby breeder um, because, you know, hobby breeders do it best. Um, maybe because I'm a little biased, but 
Um, definitely adoption first, and then if not, then you can definitely look into a hobby breeder. So now that you are 100% certain that you do want to adopt or purchase an Amazon parrot, uh, I will go ahead and go over everything that you will need and I will also go over their care. So for their cage, I recommend a 32 width by 36 length by 48 height. And the bar spacing should be 3 fourths of an inch to 1 inch. So if you can, I highly recommend buying or building an outdoor aviary. Um, because birds absolutely love being out outside, they love the sunlight, they love hearing other birds. Um, they just love being outside with nature. So if you can, definitely, definitely recommend um, to purchase or to make your own outdoor little aviary for them. They will definitely love it. If you can't build or make an outdoor aviary for them, no worries. That is completely optional. Um, but you really want to make sure you do have a like play area inside your home for your Amazon parrot. This can be the play top. Okay, I mean, I wasn't doing that, but that's okay. This can be the play top on their cage. <laughs> this can be the play top on their cage, um, or you can purchase like a separate little play gym for them, but they will definitely love that, and they definitely need an area for them to play around in. So cage placement is a very, very important thing that you have to decide before getting your bird. Um, and you basically want to put the cage in an area of the home that gets the most action. So normally that's like a living room or a family room. And you also want to make sure it's far the, like as far away from the kitchen as possible. So there's no cooking fumes or anything like that. Um, because birds do have very, very sensitive respiratory systems, so you want to keep that in mind. And you also want to keep it away from direct sunlight. Um, you don't want to put it right in front of a window. And you want to keep it away from, you know, like opening and closing doors and windows. So now the next thing you want to buy is their food. Now an Amazon parrot diet is very, very, very important because these birds are very prone to things like vitamin A deficiency and obesity as well as fatty liver disease, which I will go through um, more in depth a little bit later on this video. So you want to make sure that vegetables and pellets make up most of their diet and then other things like grains, fruits, and seeds should make up the other 20% of their diet. So for Amazon parrots, it is very, 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 very important that they are not on a seed mix or a seed and pellet mix at all. No, 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 no. Um, because like I said, they're very, very prone to obesity and fatty, fatty liver disease. Um, so you really, really want to make sure that they get as least at le the least fat as possible and you want to make sure their diet has tons of vegetables and pellets and i also do not recommend a pellet only diet either um because variety is key so they should definitely be getting some human food aka vegetables and fruits and grains along with um, their pellets and some seeds so seeds to pair it is like how junk food is to us if you eat it for breakfast lunch and dinner you will definitely get sick um, and you will greatly you know like decrease your lifespan and that is literally the same exact thing for Amazon parrots so nuts and seeds are very very high in fat um, so you do want to give those as treats only so you want to make sure that you incorporate vegetables that are high in vitamin A and these include carrots, broccoli, yellow squash, spinach, turnip greens, sweet potatoes, dark leafy greens, um, and those kinds of vegetables. I also want to mention that dark leafy greens um, are rich in vitamins A, C, E, and K and um, a lot of them are also rich in vitamin B's like broccoli. So you want to make sure that you include these vegetables in your bird's daily diet. One thing I do want to mention about spinach is that they should be fed sparingly um, because they do have um, a component in them called oxalates um, which tend to inhibit the um, calcium absorption. So please keep that in mind when serving spinach to your bird. So I can go ahead and talk about um, food more in depth in a later video. Um, but real quick, as far as pellets, um, she is personally on Zupreme pellets. Um, and she gets the Zupreme fruit blend, the um, Zupreme naturals, and the Zupreme veggie blend. 
and of course along with her vegetables and grains and fruits and all that fun stuff. So here are some good vegetables to feed to your Amazon parrot. Romaine lettuce, kale, spinach, carrots, cooked sweet potatoes, broccoli, peas, green beans, pumpkin, zucchini, cucumbers. So good fruits to feed are apples, mangoes, um, pineapple, bananas, blueberries, raspberries, grapes, strawberries, and cherries. So some foods to avoid are avocado, onions, mushrooms, tomato leaves. Um, I have a whole entire video of foods that you should not be feeding your parrot and it will be up on the IQ card and in the description so you can go ahead and click that video whenever you're done with this one. Please make sure that when you're serving fruits to your birds that you remove the seeds and the pits of the fruit um, because do, those do contain um, small amounts of cyanide um, which of course can lead to cyanide poisoning so please please don't forget to remove the pits and the seeds of any fruit that you serve your bird. Also canned um, vegetables and canned fruits should be avoided because Generally, they are high in sodium. And last but not least, before we move on to the next topic, sprouted seeds are an excellent choice um, when it comes to nutrition. And also, it is very important to provide a cuddle bone and a mineral block to your parrot at all times. So next, we can move on to food and water bowls. So you want to avoid plastic bowls because they have a very strong beak and they will definitely tear up the plastic in like a day. Um, and then probably ingest it. So please make sure that you're avoiding plastic bowls. I definitely recommend metal bowls. Um, so no plastic bowls. Make sure you buy all metal. And their water um, should be changed once in the morning and once in the evening. Some people have managed to teach their parrots to drink out of a water bo um, bottle. Um, however, I personally wouldn't recommend it. Um, I always say go for the bowl. So when it comes to cleaning, um, I always recommend spot cleaning your bird's cage every day and then doing like a full litter, litter clean um, about once a week or once every week and a half. If you do have newspaper, then the newspaper will probably need to be changed every day. And then I really do recommend that um, you do a full cage clean um, of your parrot's cage every few months and then completely take apart the cage and like deep clean it at least once every year. So when I say like the full cage needs to be cleaned, um, I generally like take the cage outside and hose it down and make sure everything is all fun and dandy. Um, but that's just my personal preference. You can definitely don't have to hose down the cage. I mean, you can do the old fashioned way with a bucket and some like um, bird safe soap and a sponge. So whatever, you know, whatever floats your boat. But you just want to make sure you're cleaning the full cage um, at least once every few months. I also want to mention that the surroundings of the cage will get dirty every single day. So every single day you will need to sweep or vacuum the surrounding of the cage because you will find food everywhere, you will find their feathers everywhere, and you will probably find poop around their cage too. So when it comes to toys, I recommend having at least three to four toys in your parrot's cage at all times. Um, and I really do recommend wood um, toys and shreddable toys and foraging toys are also a must. Huh? Echo has um, her little foraging spear, spear, sphere that I put in her vegetables and her fruits and it takes her about an hour to two hours to um, fully eat everything in there. So it does keep her occupied in the morning, which is amazing. So I definitely recommend for new toys to be added monthly and um, toys in their cage to be um, rotated at least weekly just to keep them from not like becoming bored um, and to keep their little brains entertained. And of course, absolutely no plastic like anything in their cage for the most part. Um, because they will definitely destroy it and then they might ingest it. So my personal favorite brands are um, Westco Kebab Toys, Bonka Bird Toys, Super Bird Creations, Noah's Ark and Novelty, um, The Leather Elves, and of course my website, Brighter Days Aviary, on the Hi. shop page. So the next thing that you would want to purchase are perches. <laughs> Say that like 50 times fast. So it is very very important to purchase the correct types of perches for your parrot. Um, and I just want to share with you a story of a parrot named Birdie. Hi Birdie. So this is Birdie. He is a um, yellow-nicked Amazon parrot 
And for over 40 years, he was only provided one perch, and then he ended up, unfortunately, developing arthritis. So first, I'm going to start off with the perches that you want to definitely avoid and never ever purchase. So the first type of perch you should avoid are dowel perches. They are simply absolutely horrible for your bird's feet. Um, and they're, they're just bad. They just suck. Um, they're bad for like any type of bird. And you will normally found, find dowel perches um, already in a cage that you purchase because they tend to are like come with the cage. I don't know why because they're like so bad. Okay. But um, yeah, don't get dowel perches. And of okay. course, next are plastic perches. Basically anything plastic you pretty much want to avoid. So no plastic perches. So the next um, category of perches is what I like to call the meh kind of perches. You know, they're not good, but they're not bad. Like they're not ideal, but they're not like terrible. Um, but I also generally wouldn't really recommend these perches for Amazon parrots. And the first one is rope perches. Now there's really nothing wrong with the actual like rope perch themselves. I personally have tons of rope perches for my other birds, like my love birds. Um, but rope perches are not a wise choice when it comes to Amazon parrots. And that is because they will probably shred them within like two days and then you would have like wasted all your money. And not only that, um, you would have to throw away the rope perch because they can get caught in it. Um, so just overall, I recommend just avoiding rope perches. So the next um, type of perch are sand perches. Now I personally do have a sand perch in her cage. And there's kind of a mixed opinion on this. A lot of people say that they're absolutely horrible and they should not, you should not have sand perches in your bird's cage. I personally say if you want to have a sand perch in their cage, you can, but just make sure it's like only one um, and you want to incorporate all the other perches that I'm, all the good perches that I will mention in like two minutes um, or like 30 seconds. So I have never ever had to trim Echo's nails and I believe that is from the sand perches that they do tend to file their nails down and they also help with filing their beak down. Um, I've never ever had to, thank you, I've never ever had to I know, that's my makeup. <laughs> I never ever had to um, cut her nails or trim her beak, but you just want to make sure that if you do provide a sand perch that you um, make sure that you provide all the good perches. So the best perch to provide your Amazon parent with are natural wood perches. And these natural wood perches um, mimic their natural habitat, which are branches, because branches are not um, just one like thickness or texture. They are multiple thicknesses and textures. Um, so it is very important to provide your parrot with at, with at least three to four different types of perches. And most of their perches should be um, natural wood perches. If not all of their perches should be natural wood perches. So one thing that you should know about um, bird perch cage placement is that you don't want to put it above any food bowls and you generally want to put it on the like top half of their cage not too high up but not too low um just kind of like in the middle area of their cage because birds are natural prey animals and they tend um to be on the tops of the trees and you won't really find birds like flying around at the bottom of the tree. Okay. So next topic is their behavior, speech, intelligence, and personality. So Amazon parrots are extremely, extremely intelligent and they do go through the wide um, array of emotions that I mentioned okay. earlier. They are very, very flashy okay. kind of birds and they will definitely let you know what they're feeling. They definitely have over the top personalities and they are pretty good talkers. Now Echo here, she's not really that good of a talker and that's okay, you definitely don't wanna get an Amazon parrot just for their ability to speak because Echo over here turned out not to be much of a talker. She probably has a selection of about 10 words um, that she says on a daily basis, um, but as far as, but as far as her like having a broad vocabulary or anything like that, um, that does not really her. Um, if you notice, she likes the phrase of high birdie. 
and she says that like every five seconds um and she does say a few other select words on a daily basis um, but they are extremely extremely intelligent and they are highly trainable they are also very extroverted birds that don't really tend to fixate on one person um, so uh, they like to call this a one person bird. Amazon parrots generally are not a one person bird. So I also want to mention in order for them to um, not to be a, so much of a one person bird, social interaction is very, very, very important. So you want to make sure they get exposed to a wide variety of different people. Um, of different ages and of different Hi. looks um, so they don't Hi. so they become to be, you know accepting of everyone and will gladly step onto anyone's hand or finger so these birds are very 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 good at expressing how they feel so a very excitable Amazon parrot will tend to pin their eyes raise their head and their neck feathers fan out their tail feathers um, and broaden their stance so an excitable Amazon parrot um, may not really want to be touched when nice. she gets very um, excitable like that. Generally, I try to give her her space and not really touch her when she's in that kind of mood. Um, nice. Because for the most part, if I do touch her when she's in that kind of mood, um, she has bitten me. So you just want to keep that in mind. That generally, where, when they are in that type of mood, you may just want to kind of like leave them alone and let them do their own thing until they have calmed down. Now, um, Amazon Parrot body language is very complex and very unique. And if you guys want me to make a video on that, then please let me know in the comments below and I can definitely do that for you guys. So next, we will talk about sexual maturity and behavior. Now, Amazon Parrots will get aggressive when they reach sexual maturity, which is around four to six years of age. So male double yellow-headed Amazon Parrots, male yellow naped Amazon Parrots, and male blue-fronted Amazon Parrots tend to be um, more aggressive than females. So like I mentioned before, you will get bit probably multiple times a day. Your patients will be tested um, and you will probably end up having a lot of bites on your fingers and maybe even like a couple of scars. I know I definitely have a couple of scars from her. Um, so this aggression for the most part doesn't ever just completely disappear. Um, however, However, it can be um, tamed down a lot by like training and positive reinforcement um, and just positive um, training in general. So next, I'm just going to touch on reproduction. So female Amazon parrots lay two to four eggs and they incubate their eggs for 26 to 28 days. Um, and it takes about 14 weeks to fully wean an Amazon parrot. So like any species of parrot, female Amazon parrots can get egg bound and that is when they are unable to pass the egg. Um, and this unfortunately is fatal if it's not treated immediately by a licensed avian vet. And of course, there are plenty of other issues that come along with breeding. And if you guys are interested, I can definitely make a video of that in the future. So next, we can talk about health and common illnesses that Amazon parrots are prone to. Vitamin A deficiency. Um, now, vitamin A promotes things like appetite, digestion, and a heightened resilience to infection and diseases. Another one is fatty liver syndrome, um, which is also caused by a diet high in seeds or in general a high fat diet. Another one is seizures. Um, now this is seen a lot in red lord Amazon parrots. So another one is cancer, um, particularly liver cancer. Now unfortunately this is um, more common in older Amazon parrots. So next we can talk about training. Um, now they are very 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 smart and they can learn like any trick pretty much as long as you you know like um, Put in time and effort and you're patient with them You will need a lot of patience and you will also need a lot of consistency as well So they generally do have a short attention span. So I would keep training lessons um, 15 minutes or less. So these guys are very very um, very eager to learn and to listen and they are also very treat motivated as well. So last but not least, we're just going to talk about their availability. So most of the Amazon parrot species are endangered in the wild, unfortunately. But for the most part, in the United States, 
Um, they are, you will have no trouble in finding an Amazon parrot to adopt or to purchase. So the price for a fully hand tamed, hand fed, um, and fully weaned Amazon parrot can go anywhere from a thousand to three thousand dollars depending on the species. And of course this does not include any um, rare mutations. Those can go up to the tens of thousands of dollars. And I also want to let you guys know that you should only be purchasing a fully weaned Amazon parrot if you do decide to purchase an Amazon parrot. Please do not buy an unweaned Amazon parrot because that is literally a recipe for disaster. And the last thing that I want to say is that their care and upkeep can run into the thousands of dollars every single year. Of course, minus vet visits. Um, vet visits themselves can run into the hundreds or the thousands of dollars. But what I will say is that these birds are very, um, very amazing pets. And they can truly be a wonderful, wonderful lifelong companion for you. Um, if you, of course, put in the time and the effort um, and the dedication that they need. But um, she is literally like my best friend. I don't know what I would do without her. Like, I love her to bits. She's amazing. So thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. Um, me and Echo have enjoyed making this video for you guys. And if you have any, any questions at all about Amazon Parent Care, um, then go ahead and leave that in the comments below. And I will reply to every single one of you guys. Um, I have a bunch of video ideas for the future, so if you are um, not already subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe button, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. Bye -bye.